Good morning, everybody. Um, for those that are watching, welcome and thank you for joining me this morning. If you are watching live, drop me a hashtag live in the comments so that I know who's here. Uh, if you're watching on a replay, hashtag replay. And if you have questions at any point during the video this morning, again, drop them in a the comment below and I'll I'll try and answer them live or come back to them once the video is finished. Um, what I wanted to talk over today was just where some of the core settings are in terms of SEO within Joomla. It has quite a few areas where you can set the, the metadata, page titles, page descriptions um, that that are there, easy to use, um, but perhaps they're in a, a slightly unexpected place or you've just never really considered where they are. So if we take a look at, um, you can see my browser open here, um, the, a core Joomla site, uh, an empty one, literally a blank test site I've got running there. Uh, we can see at the top here what we've got as the page title and within Joomla you've got a centralized place where this can be set for every page initially and this will add it to every page and it will all be the same if you haven't set one elsewhere. In the global config we've got a section called SEO settings and as long as you've got in your hosting files the in the public HTML, you've got a .ht access file. Then I would always recommend turning on the search engine friendly URLs. That means you don't get the the weird IDs and the category IDs in the in the path at the top. You get the structure you've created in the menu. Uh, the URL rewriting again is is the same idea. Put that in there. Um, you need to have the HT access .txt rename renamed to .ht access. And this will again ensure that you get the proper slug um, alongside the URL structure at the top there. Um, and the last one, if you need to, so this is this is personal choice. Um, I usually have the site name in the page title, and I usually have it after. Um, you can have it before, and if I save that, what you'll see is at the moment the home page it's got test at the end. If I save that as before and reload this page, you'll see those flip. So the name of the site becomes first and the page name after. I would prefer to have it after. If visitors are looking at the browser tab, I personally prefer them to see the name of the page rather than where they are and the website name, but that's personal choice. You can turn it off. Sometimes you might want to set that uniquely, completely unique in every page, uh, in which case no. And if I save that one and reload, they will literally be just the page title name in that top. But I'm gonna put it back to where I had it, which was after and save. Now the, the name test there, if I go back to that one and reload it, the test is set as the site name here. You have to have one. Joomla forces you to do this during setup. Um, and you can basically, I would usually use this as the name of your business. Um, And I would often put the city in. I, I would usually put a, a relatively core um, site name and, and a little location slug in there. But it will depend on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to rank for, for me, web design in Carlisle, um, I might have that as my business name as the title and set that. And if I save that again now and reload the whole page, you'll see that at the, at the end of every page name now it's got that that, that slug. Um, but I'm gonna put that back to test so that I do change that when I come back to it. That's a site name and also how it applies globally across every page by default if you have this site name main page title set, either of those three. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, we've now got the metadata settings for the website. These will apply on any website menu item or extension link to something within the extension that you're using where there isn't one set separately. So if you set a site meta description here, it will be used on any page where we don't set another one. So if I go to my home page at the moment and I do right click view page source, you'll see the meta name description is set as test, which is what I've said before there. Um, if I change that and save it again and I reload the page source, 
you'll see that the meta pit the meta description now changes to match that one so you can set that i would always set that there just because there may be a page you you miss or an extension that's not setting it and it means you can at least control that um within there if you need to so that something's set completely google um certainly stopped using meta keywords a long time ago one or two other search engines perhaps do but i leave these blank they they stopped using them because people were spamming it full of absolute junk um and it was literally not working at all and, and people were managing to basically um cheat the system and google went hang on a minute not using them anymore take them all out we're not using it so they just ignore site keywords and actually if you fill that up with too many um it, it's potentially a negative thing because you're literally spamming i've seen sites where there's 500 keywords in that box which is pointless um it's just not going to work at all um so that's the core stuff that's where you set the absolute basic seo parts of joomla within um for the page title meta description stuff the the other stuff is generally set within the menu items so if i go to the menu and i go to the home page or the, the menu item i want to look at um if i click to edit one of these so if i click the home doesn't matter what it links to what type it is what page or whatever it's going to link to in there if i go to the page title tab i can set an alternative page title sorry page display i can set an alternative page title and i'm going to set one there just to show i'm going to save it home custom and you should see that now gets set for that page it overrides the core one so you might want to do that on a service page so you've got a page about um fixing cars um you might want to call that car repairs in my city so that when anybody lands on the car service repairs page the the page title is changed to um something relevant to what you do uh, i'm going to take that out there again um these are places where you want to put your really key focused keyword or key phrase in terms of search terms in in my opinion because these are used by google um and they're used even if they're not used for ranking factors they're used in the display in search results about things so it means if somebody lands on that page as a search result they can see quite easily what that's actually for um straight away so it's beneficial to the visitor and the user again over to the metadata at the moment as we saw there the the metadata for that page is a generic test but i again can set a unique one um here and if i save that again and again reload there you can now see that i've overridden the default uh, oh that's new generator oh okay so the description there is the overridden one i've set it my own one on that page and that overwrites the core central one and again that's something where it it may well show up in search results if your website has been shown in those results if somebody's looking for something that you offer and as much as it needs to be keyword related it also really needs to be a sell and and give them some form of reason why they should click your site rather than somebody else's so another little bit to get your keywords in so people looking at search results know what you're going to do when they click it but also a little bit of encouragement maybe as to you know why you you're better than somebody else but that's where you would set the meta description again keywords are there but we can ignore them um whilst we're on this one you can also set the the robot level so say you've got a page you don't want to be indexed uh you can set that to be no index no follow no index follow with you know as as suits global we'll leave it as the global config settings um on occasion you might have a, i don't know i i've some got some clients that i've got um a hidden page on the website that they only deliver out to to people direct as a link and they don't want that to show up in search engines so you would set that as no index no follow you can also for for usefulness in here you can also set display and menu no so what that means is if i save that as no and i go back to my website page home page and click home it's gone 
So that actually means, although I still visit, I can still visit that page with, if I know the URL address, it's now not going to show to visitors. So that lets you have a hidden menu item that you might only share the alias to, um, to somebody specifically. Um, so I've set that back. I'm going to save it. And again, now my, my home item's gone. Sometimes if you want to hide the home item, as a lot of trend nowadays is to not have the home as an actual menu link at the top. So you still need it, but you would be able to go in there, link type, display menu, no, save and close, and you've still got a valid home page, but it's not going to show up as a link in the menu there. Um, don't think I've got any comments going on yet, so I'm just going to keep going. So that's, that's that aspect of it. Um, realistically, somebody did comment on my post there and basically say content is king. Absolutely right. In in simple terms, if the phrases that people are using to find the services and, and business that you offer, if you don't use those phrases and keywords in your content, as in the visible content on your page that visitors can read, then you're not going to get ranked for that. Simple as that. Because Google's going to look at your website and go, this is what you talk about. And if somebody searches for something and Google can't match your website content with that search term, you're going to be invisible for it. So getting it sensibly into the page titles, um, other aspects, the meta description behind the scenes is good, but it also needs to be on the written area of the page. And somebody mentioned there, Josh, I'll get your name wrong, Joshen, is it? Uh, Joachim. Does it make a difference with regards to SEO if I use Page Builder or the native Joomla page editor? Not a sausage, because again, the content delivered to the visitor and Google is the same, the same text, the same images. Um, you can still set the alt tags on the images in Page Builder for the majority of image usages. You can still set the, the name of the image file before you upload it to Page Builder. Um, you can also in, in Page Builder set the open graph data as well. So you can set what gets shared to Facebook, social media, etc in there not a jot you can still set h1 tags h2 all of the settings you would do for seo you can do in page builder um so it won't make a nice bit of difference i've got sites all of my sites use page builder for my clients i've got around about 250 out there now and the ones that i've got seo as a, a package within doesn't make any difference we're, we're ranking regardless of, of whether we've used articles or page builder pages um you know they're just done right the the next little bit is is kind of working out the silos and, and the sub menus so i'm a strong advocate for using sensible aliases so in this privacy and cookies policy one for example uh this is a hidden menu although it's at the footer it literally is in the url path privacy and cookies policy as the url structure because that's what it is. It tells visitors what it is if they see it in the search results. It tells Google what it is because they've got not only the page content and the cookies and the, the breadcrumbs in there as well. It's also in the page title, it's in the URL slugs. It all ties together to be really clear. What I will be doing in terms of, say I've got a page about, uh, I'm gonna call it web design. And I'm just gonna make this uh, page builder page and I'm just gonna link to a random one doesn't make any odds what it is. Um, test. Page display again, browser page title, web design, metadata. Um, um, bit of a description for the metadata there. I can enable the page title if I wish it's the Helix one. I'm gonna leave it off initially. Um, and I'm going to do save. So now it's given me the alias of web design. If I go back to my website and do home, I've now got my web design menu item. I can click it. So I've now got my web design in the page title at the top. Um, I've also got it in the page source for the meta description. I've got it in there as well. Um, page titles in. I'm going to have a check on this. I've got a plugin in use that is supposed to hide the meta generator settings. 
and I've just noticed that it's not in there anymore it's changed it out um, I always like to hide the generator or at least replace it with a custom one dropping the word Joomla in there is kind of a, a hack invitation although they can scan the I'm using a plugin in there that shouldn't do that anyway come back to that one page title is by default disabled if I enable it save it again and now get the breadcrumbs underneath and again the page title by default picks up what I've set in the page display but I can override this if I want to and do a custom page title save and now I've got my custom one although this still uses the set page title item I can also add a subtitle here if I want which sits beneath there so you could introduce things and just add a little bit more information about that page you've got a breadcrumbs underneath and what I would advise potentially it's up to you is you can set that as h1 or h2 doesn't change how it looks uh, but it does change the actual um, that'll be h h1 uh, yeah so set that title as a, as a h1 there and underneath it actually by default sets it as h2 which is interesting you can play around with that one um, I wonder if I set that as h2 that should then put them both as h2 Oh, but it's a H3. Very clever. So it used to not do that. It's now setting them out with separate heading tags in, in the hierarchy, which is quite nice. So you can disable that, turn it off, turn it on as you want, however you want. Um, you know within Helix that you can set that as a colour. So if I want to change the colour of that one, I can. Or I can upload an image. If I want an image, I can put a background image in there as well. Um, Helix settings, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to leave it as it was. Turn it off. So there's the, the parts of a menu item. That goes for any menu item. It will override um, what you're doing on the core global config uh, on the menu items, which is usually recommended because you want to be able to set these specific to the page in question that you're working on um what else can we do um realistically that's that's the core stuff in Joomla. that's where all the settings go for your, your meta description and page titles and stuff like that um if you're in page builder given a few of you watching this may well have come from one of the page builder forums you can also set within each page the open graph data this is what gets shared to Facebook if you share that page to Facebook. So you can put the page title in there, whatever you want. Um, description, text, and you can upload an image again. And that image will be shared onto social media if that page is shared onto social media. Strongly worth doing. It, it just adds a little bit of control to you over what happens. If you don't add that in there, then social media will pick its own from your page and sometimes it might not even have an image or the right text and the right page title it'll make something up from what you've given it and it might look a bit naff so this way you can set those things to be sure that if you share that page onto social media you get displayed what you want to do um that's i'm trying to think there's, there's a lot of other stuff in there as well really um I use an extension called JCH Optimized Pro, for example. Now, although this isn't SEO in terms of content, it's SEO in terms of page speed. And that is, it is a factor in your ranking. If there's two sites relatively similar in how Google thinks they are for search terms, the faster one potentially will be higher up the ranking than the slower one. Um, this lets you do all sorts, and I think it's brilliant. You can exclude menu items if you need to. Maybe if you've got a shop or a cart or a basket, you would exclude them. It combines files. You can set cache lifetimes, um, minification settings, CSS. You can exclude certain files, extensions in there if they're causing problems. You can optimize Google font loading. Um, 
JavaScript settings, media, do you want to push things there? Do you want to set up with a CDN? It will also do image optimization, so it will actually let you convert them um, to WebP and other bits and bobs, and it will then also allow all the browsers to see the JPEG version as well if the, the WebP is not supporting that browser, and I use this now on all the sites. Uh, it's really good and it's better than the standard Joomla cache in lots of ways. It's a bit more dynamic. If you change page content, you normally have to clear the Joomla cache or wait for it to expire. Within JCH, it, it manages that and changes the stuff itself if it realizes them. Uh, so that's useful. Uh, OS Map Pro is another one. So I use this for sitemap creation. Um, by default, there's no sitemap in Joomla. This dynamically creates a sitemap based upon your menu structure by default. Um, it creates an XML, HTML, whatever sitemap style. If I click that to see what it looks like, uh, it literally lets me look at the three menu items, whole web design privacy policy are on the XML sitemap. If I was to add, and as you've seen there, I added them with the web design tab. Uh, the sitemaps pick that up without me having to do anything. So if you submit this to Google or Bing, uh, it will scan this on a regular basis. And if you've added a new page to your menu items, it will be there by default. The only thing you need to do to be really sure is in your hosting and in your robots.txt file, you need to you need to add, I'm going to just view this because I'm not sure if I've added it to there. When a site goes live, you need to add a line to there to tell it where the sitemap is. Otherwise, if they're looking for a lot of robots from uh, search engines will look for literally sitemap.xml at the end. That's not what this uses. Um, oh, it's not in it, it's in OS map. So I'll, basically, you can add that line to your the bottom of your robots.txt sitemap colon website address and then you just add the path at the end there um, your domain put that in the bottom of your robots.txt file and then if a, if a search engine or bot pops onto your website and tries to find the sitemap they will by default check the robots.txt they will see the reference to it and they'll be able to look at it and view it if you don't add that in the only places that will know about your sitemap are the ones you've told it um, and this path here is standard to OS map. So you just change your domain name bit here, whatever it needs to be, and go from there. And that's done. The The other little bit as well is the HD access file. Now it's not in here because it's, it's not a live site. Um, or is it? If I open up my HD access file, you will see underneath the rewrite engine on I've added two lines here now this forces any any visitor to the website to be loaded across to the www version so by default Google uh, Joomla doesn't handle this it will let people visit your website on www.website.com and just website.com and as far as Google is concerned that is two separate websites so this will actually force them across to the www version and you'll lose that issue. You'll have no duplicate sites out there, uh, which reminds me of a global config setting. I set this on every site by default. The vast majority of hosting platforms now should be providing you with a HTTPS SSL certificate by default. It should be available free of charge to, to just use. And by default, unless they've changed this in Joomla 4, um, this doesn't get set. Uh, Force HTTPS is on none, but I will always come in and set this to be entire site. And that means by default, Joomla will redirect to HTTPS for you all the time. Uh, and that's important. It is a minor ranking factor to be aware of in that one. So it's really worth doing. So... That's me for now. I've got across the question, across the thing I want to set. We've looked at the, the global config for meta description, page title, site name. We've looked at how you set that in the menu items. Uh, we've looked at the open graph data in page builder. 
Uh, we've looked at a couple of extra bits in your hosting for the sitemap if you use OS Map. Um, and also for forcing www dot, there is an alternative bit of code that forces it to non www dot. If you prefer, entirely up to you. I'm a little bit old school. I do prefer the www dot bit in there because that's just me, and I'm 44. <laughs> that's what I like. Um, it's World Wide Web. It's a website. It's www dot. Um, so that's me. I hope you enjoyed that. There's nothing else I'm going to add in for now. Um, if you've got any questions that pop up in relation to that one, drop me a message. That's friend request. Drop me a message on the on the video below, and I'll come back to you. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Thank you all. Bye bye.